Hello again, Beach Body Bloggers. It's Kelly Ryan, and we are going to continue on with another little mini lesson. This time, we're going to be putting an ad banner onto your blog. You really want to be careful with this. You do not want to overdo it because you want people to come to your blog and feel a personal connection to you, not feel like they're going to a corporate site or um, are being overwhelmed with salesy type stuff. Um, but used just sparingly, they are a great thing and a great um, tool that Beachbody makes available to us. So you can see here that we're starting actually in your coach office. And you're going to go over here to the sales and marketing tab, which many of you may not even have checked out too much. This isn't one of the places that people go as often, but there's a lot of wonderful things in here for you to use for building your business. So in sales and marketing, you're going to go down here to where it says marketing tools, and you will land here at this page. Here's the bit about Coach Mobile app. If you aren't familiar with using that, you definitely need to check it out. But we are going to scroll all the way down here to where it says professional ad banners. Okay, So I want you to go down here through the ad banners and find your favorite program or the program that you really are focusing on in building your business right now. Um, since we've just launched Pio, I'm going to take that one as an example. And when you click that, you'll see that there are a lot of different options. There are small um, almost thumbnail size options for your sidebars. Okay, so it's just a small one. There's a long banner. That's going to be another good one to put in your sidebar. Here's another option. It's got a buy now ticket on it. Okay, call to action, call to action. So you might like the orange um, call to action stuff, or you might prefer to have them without. So just take a look. This one has all kinds of information added to it. Okay, these ones, these say, these ones, oh my goodness, where's my grammar? <laughs> these say learn more and include um, the limited time. So if that's really what you want to focus on, this is your selection. So I'm going to choose one of these bars. Let's see what we have. I think I want a long bar like this one. Okay, so I'm going to click in the box and everything, see so if I click out, once you click in everything is automatically selected so you don't have to worry that you've missed something and copy that. Then you're going to go back to your blog and uh, here in layout you're going to add a gadget. Again, this is another gadget that will include HTML JavaScript. So we'll select that option. In this case, we do not need to give it a title. We don't want it to say anything, so I'm going to leave that blank. I'm just going to paste in the ad banner. And you can see, if you want to check it, see right here, see where it says 8466? That is my coach ID number. This is how you will know that when somebody clicks this banner, they will go to your site. Okay, so you should check there to make sure that you see it is your number in that code. Okay, quick tip. Then click Save. We're going to save the arrangement. Go view our blog. Oh, look at that. It's way over here. Do you see what happened there? This is an old ad banner I had. It's way over here. So now I know, okay, I need to go back and rearrange where that landed because I don't want it way over there in the sidebar. Okay. This is um, how you're going to move things around. See this gray bar? You're going to grab that. And this time, I'm going to see if I put it over here, I can make it a short little bar, or I can make it a full length bar at the top if I want. I'm going to get rid of this 21 day fix banner by hitting remove so it's not so busy. Um, then I'm going to save the arrangement and view it again. Okay, this time I can see that there is the Pio banner right there at the top above everything else. It's just about where I want it, but it's still, I would really prefer to have it right here in the center, not just over here on the side. So I'm going to edit that. 
And if you remember from an earlier lesson, we're going to type in a center code. In order to do that, I'm going to use this little bracket and type in the word center and close the bracket. See that? Then I'm going to go to the very, very end. I'm going to put the open and then a forward slash. Click center again and then close it. Save that. And now see how it moved it over? Now it is exactly in the center of my blog. So give that a shot. If it turns out looking exactly how you want, awesome. If it's not quite how you want, play with the layout a little bit, move it around. Um, you might prefer to have a long sidebar instead. That's totally up to you or just a small thumbnail. Um, but you guys are getting um, much more advanced and are able to modify some of these things as you go. So um, congratulations. You guys have come a long way. I'm really proud of the work you're doing. And that's the end of this little tutorial about adding ad banners. Good luck to you guys. Talk to you next time.